Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. We're here today with Chef Kenneth Cameron of Grub Du Jour, and because the holidays are, are close, uh, he's going to show us how to take leftover turkey and turn it into a beautiful Christmas one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that much of a mere corp. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, other, um, since we're not going to do that, then he's going to show us how to fix a pumpkin crostini. Oh, a pumpkin crostini. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready. Let's get started. <clears throat> All right, uh, essentially this is a quick, easy uh, little appetizer to make. Presentation's really good. Uh, we're going to start off tearing. Uh, mm -hmm. If you could just make a fist with your left hand <clears throat> mm -hmm. and stick your knuckles out a little bit and place that on top of the bread. Okay. And then go ahead and pick the knife up and you're going to want to make about a quarter of an inch slices. Okay, let's see if I can do this. It's going to make simple, easy slices. Let the knife do the work and don't push too hard down on the bread. I mashed the bread. Yeah, no mashing the bread. Now those quarter inch slices, do you think that's too small, Terry? <laughs> or is that just thick enough for you? <laughs> I don't know because look, mine are all different sizes. Well, that's... I'm sorry. Which one of the good ones, Kenneth? Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, kind of go right. through them after you get done okay. cutting. <laughs> right, well, so how many you get to make plenty and plenty. How many do I need of these? <clears throat> Um, it just depends on what, uh, how big of a group you're coming over. It's a pretty easy, cheap alternative. It's just day-old Italian bread that you get to slice up uh, to make it a little bit crispier in the oven. So about a good 10 or 12 of them would be plenty. How am I doing? Perfect. And I think we're good. Is that good? Yep. Yay! <clears throat> now go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and place them on one layer on the cookie sheet. How am I doing? Perfect. We're going to use this little mister. Um, it's a non-aerosol device. You're just able to pump it, and it's full of olive oil, so it'll be able to spray out olive oil. Great little treat, and it's cheap and easy, and it saves from having to have any aerosol canisters. So what do I do? <laughs> now you can just oh, spray. Oh, the top comes off. <clears throat> and there's an arrow. Okay, so just, just like spray them down lightly. One shot. Yep. Oops. Like that. Yep. Perfect. Just like the Aquanet. Yeah. Or Beyond the Blast. <laughs> not. And then we're going to take um, the not beyond. <laughs> pumpkin spice seasoning. It's just a mix some mixture of uh, spices, cinnamon, okay, just a little pinch on each of them. Doesn't like have that? to be perfect. Yep. Like that? Just gives a little bit extra flavor. Are you getting this? <clears throat> I'm cooking. What's in there? It is cinnamon and cardamom and a little bit of clove. That's Essentially it. just basic pumpkin spice. Oh, okay. Perfect. Now we're going to place those in the oven and you need to be careful wash them 350 degrees or uh, 300 convection depending on what you're using. You're going to want to put your, set your timer to about three minute intervals because they will quickly over I'll set the time. burn. So you definitely want to double check. Okay. <clears throat> and since we're on the Food Network. We have the stunt bread ready. <laughs> oh, look what I did! <laughs> See, perfect, Terry. Uh, and they come out nice and crispy, and we're ready to go. Cool. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to just take a simple pumpkin puree. You can either use canned or you can use fresh. And you're going to take an equal amount of the pumpkin and put it in here. <clears throat> put about half that in there. That just smells so good. Perfect. And then take the equal amount of ricotta cheese, and this is whole milk ricotta cheese. It's firmer, and if you use skim milk, it'll be a little bit more loose. So we want to make sure it has a good consistency. Perfect. <coughs> and we're going to take honey to sweeten it up a little bit, and pour a good couple of globs in there. <laughs> I don't do well at the eyeballing. Well, everyone makes fun of me because I don't measure, so this oh, is a perfect, okay. perfect opportunity. Is that enough? Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to take a couple of pinches of the pumpkin spice seasoning. Gary, you're an expert now? Mm -hmm. I am. Perfect. And then now just whisk it all together. Oh, yes. <coughs> 
can feel this in the man breasts, y'all. <laughs> they are shaking while I'm whipping this. And I'm just... Perfect. <clears throat> now we get to take the Christine's and just cut nice and simple. Now it's your turn. <clears throat> get the spoon. Then this onto the crostinis, just easy like that. And then for garnish, just to make sure it looks good, we'll take a little bit of roasted pumpkin seeds. Seasoning on the seeds? Or no, plain. just plain simple. Take a little there's, bit of mint leaf. There's no oil on the seeds or anything? No oil on the seeds, it's all natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no oil and you have a great dessert. A little appetizer, and here's the finished product. And you have essentially little homemade pumpkin spice appetizers. Very yeah, nice. Okay. I'm trying. What is this? I forgot. Mint. Do I eat that pig? Yes. <laughs> Wait, try the pen. <laughs> So what you guys think? Mm -hmm. Great. Easy, took what, five minutes? Mm -hmm. Throw together? Yes, very easy, very tasty. <laughs> so there you have it. GrubDuJour.com, www.grubdujour.com. Uh, most of the personal chef services offer are to people looking to choose healthier lifestyles, vegetarian, vegan, uh, like today, we've got a nice vegetarian dish. So I also have a blog that connected on my website that you can find uh, what to make for the vegetarian when they show up at your holiday party. I have this recipe and plenty others. If you, if you had any other things, just contact me through there. So Kenneth, will you come to my house and do this for us? Yes, that's uh, what Grub Du Jour is. It's a personal chef service. Um, we specialize in cooking for families in their homes, and we also have a program for entertainment for small groups, preparing a kind of banquet type food for everyone. We also um, do mostly menu planning. Uh, it's a very uh, small fraction of a fee, $25 a week. We send you a menu with shopping list customized to the actual shore that you normally go to with everything priced out so you stay in your budget and it helps you just uh, you know keep the creative juices flowing not having to worry about what's for dinner or staring at the open fridge for 30 minutes trying to figure out what you're <laughs> going to eat for dinner tonight so um, it's personal chef service for everybody you don't have to be a superstar actor or any uh, famous person to be able to you know have uh, great cuisine at your house very good so Kenneth when you're stuffing the bird no, I Okay, so Thanksgiving's coming up, everyone cooks the traditional stuff, turkey, potatoes, stuff like that. Is there anything you would suggest doing just to like traditional foods, just to spice them up a little bit, or even just a whole new little dish that you throw in there? Yeah, definitely mix it up a little bit. Um, I have a lot of clients that are flex families. You have uh, half vegetarian, half not vegetarian families, so you can make dishes two separate ways. Um, especially with vegetarians, uh, you kind of get to spice things up a little bit, uh, add a little bit more. Uh, just like with the pumpkin dish, we could have added a little bit of uh, Thai red curry paste and kind of had a little bit more heat to it. Yeah. There's definitely um, a lot of traditional recipes, even your own specific traditional recipes, you could uh, submit and I can actually tweak them a little bit and okay. maybe give you a little cool. bit more of a twist. So you still get to keep your tradition with a little bit extra flair added to it. Right. Give him a call. He'll tell you how to spice up your dinner. Mm -hmm. Email him. What's his website? It's www.grubdejour.com. There you have it. All right, for more info, check out our extras. And there will be a link to Chef Kenneth's website and also this recipe for the delicious pumpkin crostini. Yum. This is Chef Kenneth, and you're watching The Loop TV.